Good day. Good day. This is Mr. Gomez, and I am going to get you started on your flyer project. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to make a new uh, Google document. As you can see, I'm here in Google Drive. You can get there by clicking on the waffle. I'm going to double click on the Q4 2017 folder. And I'm going to open up my documents folder. If you don't have it, that's OK. We just work what, with what we have. I'm going to double click on this. OK. So this time, I'm going to create a new document. So new, Google Doc. A new tab will open up. I'm going to give this a name. And I'm going to, so you're going to put your first name and last name. And you're going to type no phone zone flyer. And press enter on the keyboard. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to change the alignment here. And I'm going to change it to center alignment. So I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to change the font size and the font appearance. So first of all, Let's go ahead and change the appearance. And I'm going to look for something decorative. Let's see if I can find something that looks OK. And I'm thinking to myself, mm, maybe I want some more choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click more fonts and that's right here. And so now this gives me a wider choice of fonts to choose from. So what I can do here is I can control my font to list. So I can make a list of the fonts that I want uh, for my list and fonts that I don't want. So for example, Cabin and Calibri are very close in appearance. So I don't want two of the same thing. So I'm going to get rid of Cabin because I prefer Calibri. So I'm going to click on this X right here and that's going to remove it. So there we go. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's a limit to how many fonts you can have on your list. And as you can see over here, the ones that are checked in that are in blue are the ones that are on my list right now. So I'm looking for something that will work for my header and something that stands out. And well, that's pretty good. This Passion One font looks good. And remember, fonts have nicknames. They all have names. So I'm going to click that, and that's going to be on my list. So and then I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to click Arial. Oh, there is my reminder. <laughs> Sorry about that. Windows is doing a huge update, and they just picked a good time to interrupt. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click here. And I'm going to look for that. And I just added, here we are, Passion 1. 
So I'm going to click on that. And the slogan that I'm going to use for the flyer, and you will be doing the same, is, and this is one of the only times you might want to use caps lock on your keyboard. this is really small so I need to change the size and I need to change a little bit of the color so I'm going to highlight this I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna change the font size to let's say 36 that looks good and so I'm going to deselect it and you can just click anywhere to do that. Remember, to select, you highlight it. You do that by holding the mouse button and moving your mouse. And then to deselect, you can just click outside the selection area. So I'm going to change the color here. I'm going to highlight the words no phone and now I'm going to come up here to my text color tool and I'm going to change it to a dark red there we go and so now I want to click it over here to the end and then I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to look for an image. I need to, I'm going to put an image here. Insert image. I'm going to take this one off the internet. So I'm going to go to search. So I'm going to perform a Google image search and I'm going to put the words um, no phone. Oh, that's pretty good. Good choices here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with one of these. And I'm going to click select. This is really big. And so I need to, I think I need to zoom out. And that's actually going to be very useful. So I'm going to click right here. There's my zoom control. I'm going to set it to about 75%. I did that right here. And I'm going to make this a little smaller. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click break text and that will allow me to move it around a little bit more. And I'm going to set the margin to zero. And now I'm going to shrink it up a little bit. And I'm going to move this towards the middle. There we go. Whoops. Well, that doesn't look too bad either, actually. <laughs> but I want to write something on the bottom, so I'm going to undo this. Remember, undo is your friend. You can either control Z on your keyboard, or you can click up here and undo that. And I'm going to, maybe I should make this a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so now notice my cursor is now at the bottom of this picture because the image has kind of, it's shoved the cursor down towards the bottom. So now I'm going to write my message. I'm going to go to 14 point, and I'm going to change it to something that's, easy to read and very friendly. I'm going to pick Arial font this time. 
And I'm going to write my message here. And I might want to add to this a little bit. Notice my alignment is still centered. And if I want to move this down, that's my phone. And I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go with that red color again. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I mean, this is a fairly simple project. Now, the next step is we're going to do this one together in class, and then you'll be given an opportunity to um, make your own. Okay, so here we are. So this is uh, your flyer, and you can save this. Well, it's already saved. But next time, I will show you how to make a copy of this template, which is a model that you can change or customize. So we have our template for our flyer. All right, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.